Welcome to Geometry Masterclass. In this video, we will write triangle and inscribe circle that divides the hypotenuse at a point of tangency into two segments with the lengths 3 and 5. The task is to find the area of a right triangle. In order to find the area of a right triangle, we need to connect the center of the inscribed circle to the vertexes B and C. and also the points of tangency on the legs. Let's label some letters. Let also R denote the radius of the inscribed circle. Next, considering the right triangles BOE and BOD we can easily make sure that these two right triangles are congruent because they have a common hypotenuse and the corresponding legs are congruent. This is one of the rules of right triangle congruence. So here we know the triangle BOE and triangle BOD are congruent. Therefore, the corresponding legs are congruent. So here BE is equal to 3. Similarly, triangle COF and triangle COD are congruent for the same reason. Therefore, segments FC and DC are congruent. Next, it is obvious that the rectangle AEOF is a square because the sides EO and OF are congruent. Therefore, the side EA is R and the side AF is also R. So finally, we have a right triangle where one of the legs is 3 plus R, the next leg is 5 plus R. And the hypotenuse is 8. Here we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the r. 8 square equals 3 plus r square plus 5 plus r square. Solving this quadratic equation, we have got r equals square root 31 minus 4. So the segment ab is equal square root 31 minus 1, and the segment ac is equal square root 31 plus 1. So the area of a right triangle is equal segment AB times segment AC divided by 2. Put in the value of the segments AB and AC into this formula, we can calculate the area of a right triangle. S equal square root 31 minus 1 times square root 31 plus 1 divided by 2, which is equal 31 minus 1 divided by 2 equal 15. So the area of a right triangle is equal 15. Thanks for watching. Bye.